Tonight, we welcome you to the Pearl at the Palms, beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada, for UFC Fight Night Live. It's certainly a good night to be a mixed martial arts fan with the card we have in store for you. Hi again, everybody. I'm Mike Goldberg. Welcome once again to the Ultimate Fighting Championship. We've got an incredible night of fights lined up for you this evening, and we are just about set to open the octagon gates. My partner is always Joe Rogan. Joe, how great are these matchups this evening? We've got some awesome fights here tonight, Mike. There are so many fighters competing, and the divisions are so deep in the UFC that any one of these matchups could end up being fight of the night. This is just a sick card, and I am very excited to see all the fights this evening. So, my partner, and if you are a fan of mixed martial arts, so should all of you. But before the fights begin, let's take a look at our rules of the octagon. Three judges will score the bout, the bout duration of three five-minute rounds. There are no championship fights on the card tonight. A 10-point must scoring system is in effect, with the round winner gaining 10 points, his opponent nine or less, based on effective striking, grappling, aggression, and octagon control. begin our night with a middleweight matchup between Court McGee and the young man from Maui, Hawaii, Kendall the Spider Grove. An ultimate fighter winner who loves to stand and brawl, six foot six Kendall the Spider Grove is an imposing figure in the middleweight division. Both an accomplished grappler and striker, this proud Hawaiian is looking to impress fight fans once again. Court McGee is a former plumber who quit his job the day he was signed to fight Jeremy Horn. And he's obviously found success here in his new MMA career. He won the Ultimate Fighter and has made a remarkable impact in the division with his submission skills and finishing ability. is brought to you by UFC Store. The sport lives here. And now with the official introductions of our fighters, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, we are live from the Pearl at the Palms Casino Resort in Las Vegas. And now it's time to begin our first bout of the evening. Three rounds in the UFC middleweight Division. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist. He stands six feet, six inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Maui, Hawaii. Kendall, the spider. And now, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a freestyle fighter. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Orem, Utah, Court the Crusher, McGee! And when the action begins, our referee in charge of this contest is Kevin Mohall. Kevin Mohall, our referee. Mike Goldberg, Joe Rogan, set for the start of round number one. You Kendall ready? Grove, you Court McGee. And here we go. Right, hello. Universe mode is back. You've got 1,040 credits. Okay. So this is a bit of a, you know, it's a fight night card. You've got to get those low rate, uh, those low rate guys on there. They need fights as well. Kendall Grove, you know, well rounded. And Court McGee. The cr Ooh, front kick up the middle. Drops McGee. Let's see if he can scramble back to his feet. Or maybe he wants to be on the ground. Although. Kendall Grove is a dangerous submission game. Look at it. Tries to give, to give the tie clinch, but gets taken down. Guess at that time, though. Kendall Grove works well off his back. We'll have to see if he throws up some submissions. There we go. He goes with the rubber guard. But not able to transition. Ooh, nice reversal. 
How is everyone, by the way? Just a uh, retroactive hi to everyone. I was, uh, I was just doing something for a second while I started the stream, so I wasn't able to reply. What's up, Mavante? Hey, what's up, Devon? Yeah, that was crazy. Ooh, court shoots again, but that time it sprawled. Ah. Did you break it or did you sprain it or something? Nice reversal from, from Kendall there. Ooh, ooh, brutal elbow. Kendall's underrated, man. He's He's got skills everywhere. Definitely not the most powerful puncher, but he will... Oh, the high kick drops McGee! Can he finish it? I think I think we're gonna. Uh, course too. Course tougher than that. Oh, oh, that rock lasted a long time. Surprised the ref didn't stop that, but court shoots. Uh, no, this isn't. This is court McGee. I'd be worried if Joe was fighting a middleweight. Yeah, Weidman, Weidman, man. I was hurt. I, yeah, I, I don't know, man. I can't. I want him to retire for his health. But he wants to keep going. I mean, he knows himself better than me, I guess. Outstanding so far from um, from Kendall Grove, but Court is uh, showcasing that toughness. What's up, FIFA? Well, I finally beat Mile High Club last night. It took me about nine, say ten hours if you include the last the, the stream before that. Ooh, ooh, couple big shots from Court there. It's around the top mount. That's it's a good recovery. Uh, Rumble beats him, I think. Uh, what, Weidman or Lozon? I, did, I know he said they had to deal with Lozon. By the way, he looks incredible. Yeah, I just I didn't get banked so quick enough. Apologies. This was a beautiful counter. Unbelievable timing here. And here's that I think Maya's going to win. That is uh, Maz Vidal, maybe? And here is that amazingly timed counter. Oh, sorry. I swear it was. but I even double-checked it. There you go. Being shown in that round, Mike. Oh, yeah, everyone at... Feathers have the sound of advantage over Ben Askren. Here we go, second round. We're going to see how Court responds after that painful first round. Oh, again, Cattle Grove goes to the high kick, but this time Court sees it coming. But that kickboxing and the length, man. <laughs> nice sprawl. Oh, well timed. See if Grove uses those long legs, not able to there. Cool's, Cool's doing a great job of nullifying the guard game of Kendall Grove right here. Uh, Habib beats him every... I mean, much I love... Well, I say every day. And you can't really say every day because Maya has those subs. But I just think... Habib's very good at stopping guys like Maya. Because... I don't know. His jiu-jitsu defense is very good. Ooh. Oh, Kamora. Kamora. Oh, this is kind of tight. Let's see if Kendall can escape here, or will Court get the Kimura? And that's it! He gets it! Court McGee! That's a comeback. He was hurt early, but didn't let that deter him. Had that toughness. And he, uh, he got the win. Yeah, CM, CM, go. Twisting the shoulder at a very unnatural angle, and that hurts. Yeah, technically the day before. Actually, technically, yeah, it is yesterday because when we watched it, it was in the morning. Hey, by the way, Dan, I finally beat Mile High Club. It only took me about nine, ten hours. I eventually found a video that um, I found a video that had a little bit uh, that had some with you know showcase some guy's strategy and. Um, 
It was helpful. Just use flashbangs more. Uh, I don't know about Tyson. I think Ferguson probably wins that fight. Uh, betting time. I'll set it up now. Right. Points, 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 points. Let me give you some points. Mr. Astonishing. There you go. Yeah, you got the points. I have to, I have to give that manually because for some reason it's not automatic. I have no idea why, but it is what it is. YouTube's going to be doing that. So It's not even YouTube, it's Streamlabs. Uh, let's give her one point here. There you go. You get a thousand by default. So. What is the next fight? I have forgotten. Let me check the thing. Alright, so it's Soteropolis and Boson. Okay. Set it up real quick. Okay. Man, Court was real hurt. I got to finish editing it. Don't worry. To be fair, I was pretty busy last night. CM Punk is, a, is an omnipotent. Hold on. I know how to say this word in my head, but every time I try and say it, it just comes out weird. Omnipotent. Yeah. Being that finds joy in being enslaved to mediocrity. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> What's up, Bubble? Hail Gandhi. Yes. All right. Those peace bombs, man. Right, so, next fight. Let's start the betting process, shall we? i actually got to set up now. Uh, Whiteman, I, I feel bad for him getting uh, stomped. It's the DLC Fires uh, card tonight. Since it's just a um, undercard belt, I don't reckon I don't mind speaking over the stuff here. Cody, uh, uh, let me just. I don't know if you have points or not. Let me see. Uh, hold on, let me give you some points, Cody. Hold on. Hold on, I've got to do it manually, give me a second here. I wish I didn't have to do this, I wish it would just add him, but I have to do it manually, so give me a sec. Yeah, alright, one sec. Cody, you got some points. A thousand is the max. Sorry, is it? Sorry, shit, my bad. I didn't change it to a thousand. Oops. Oops. Um, alright, so a hundred is the max. Sorry. I, I forgot. Oh shit! I forgot to change it. Well, yeah, that, that I feel. I'm sorry. Today's gone wrong. Immediately clinching. Actually, you know what? Hold on. Let me just. Mm, how am I gonna manage this? What if I stop and let really me reset? All right. Hold on. There you go. All right, there you go. You better, you better bet again. I, I, I up the value. I up the volume. So um, there you go. Do, 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 do. Hold on. Ugh. Damage from Lowe's on there. Oh, nice. Oh, I thought you used that Kale Jobo for a second there. Right. More points has been given to more. But, uh, I've refunded everyone. Don't worry. So if you want, just bet again. And I'll stop it after the end of this round. Oh! He caught him! He caught the punch, went with the triangle! But Soteropolis with that jiu-jitsu... Gets out. Oh, he goes again! 
Try and get off the cage! This is tight! The oh, but again, Sotteropoulos is able to navigate. Navigate out. And he slams him. Man. Joe with those submissions. Oh, nice reversal into Mount. Sotteropoulos is in trouble, but he catches that punch. Good job, hip escaping there. Moves to half guard. In the guard. You can definitely see who has the more active guard here. Gets the side control. End of the first round. All right, time to have an exhibition. Yeah, they neutralized each other on the mat, Mike. No one seemed willing to take any risks. Mm, yeah, it was, it, was, it was good. The submissions were kind of tight as well, especially the second one. Let's take a look at the replay of some of the action here, Mike. This was just an unbelievable counter right here. This is flawless timing. And here's that yeah. submission escape. Great display of ground defense here. <laughs> the beautiful Shandella Powell. Are you ready to fight? Are you ready? <clears throat> this is thrown to two. Immediately, Sauce Roberts looks to clinch. Oh, nice left hook there. He's really well rounded, is uh, Sod Robles, man. He's got that jiu-jitsu. He's got the grappling to back up his boxing. <laughs> oh, nice uppercut. So we've got to see if uh, how Joe responds here. See if he tries to get it down or he's happy to stay on the feet. Of course, these grapplers are not afraid to throw wild strikes because they know if they get taken down, they've got you know they're safe on the ground. Well, I say safe, you know they're not. They're not out of their depth. Man, big shots from. Sotteropoulos. He really wants to get that round back. Nice body shot, but uppercut from um, Lozo. Yeah, he didn't take much at all. No, he took hardly any. Almost a perfect night. Let's see if Lozo's able to get to half uh, uh, side control or mount, perhaps. There you go. But Sotteropoulos uh, reversed. Let's we'll see if he gets a submission here. Or tries to attempt one anyway. Sotteropoulos is doing very well on the inside. He's getting that dirty boxing going. Oh. Oh, nice. Takes the back. So if he pulls guard. Nope, but he throws him. Oh, oh. Two big shots there. And another. This one gets reverses to sprawl. Not able to take his back though. They're back to their feet. Ooh. The hooks from Sotteropoulos are doing damage. Oh, the recipe is oh, dead. Close on fires back. Hey, nice takedown. But not able to get him to. Um... <laughs> Not able to get to uh, side control. Oh, nice pull counter. There, thank you for subscribing. Sorry, I sometimes miss it because I can't always see the uh, the stream. He's in the full guard, pushes him off of the feet. That's the end of round number two. Our fighters will move to the third and final round. I like how they took that fight everywhere in that round, Mike. Absolutely. Oh shit, my friend was streaming earlier. Yeah, he was I never got to he, I, he was just starting the stream. I didn't get to watch any of it because I was um go do this, so I say got to it, I enjoy it. But that's no but bad, but yeah. You know what I mean? If he's still streaming there, I'll go watch him. Uh, yeah, 1-1. One, one. 
I think, yeah. Some real nice drives by Sotteropoulos. Definitely up the ante in that round. Some real power on display. Fantastic suplex. And this was right on target. That is nasty, scary power in Ooh. that shot. Knocked him down. And a follow-up shot there. A lot of versatility being shown in that round, Mike. Okay, okay. Score. All you need to do is score. You score with that take down. Ready to start round three. There's the beautiful Brittany. Hey, what's up, Ty? Yeah, we're only... We're only on the second fight, so there's plenty to go. Are you ready? We are set for the third and final third round. See if this goes the way of the second or the first round. Oh, nice catch. See if he pulls guard. Don't know if he really wants to be in the guard of or Lozon to be on top of him, but I suppose it is a little better than being in his guard. Oh. Well, I, I, yeah, he, he. I think definitely if he wins this round, he could take the fight. But we'll see. Oh, nice right hand. Looks like he's uh, got the timing here in the third round a bit more. Trying to get that body look, see if he's able to throw him. Oh, throws him. Trying to get Mount there, but not able to. Nice reversal there. Yeah, he's definitely had some powerful shots, but so is Sotteropoulos. He's had some nice... Uh, he's been quite accurate. Ooh, have a fist. But gets caught. Full mount, though. Gets reversed. Oh, two shots there. Oh, look at his triangle. Triangle. That's tight. That is tight. Can Lozon escape? Or will Sotteropoulos get the submission? He got it. He got it. He finishes Joe Lozon in Lozon's debut in Sotropolis' uh, second fight, I believe. That was that was a good fight. Yeah. I wouldn't say Sotropolis was in trouble. He definitely had the momentum from the second round, but he, he definitely really followed that up. Although early he took a couple of shots, but... Ah. Yeah, man, he's he uh, he was pretty well rounded in this game. I mean, he's got good subs, good well, great subs, good really uh, pretty decent striking. Right, so people who bet on Sotteropoulos, you have yourselves some money. The better voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffer, has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes forty seconds. Of the third round, declaring the winner by tap out due to a triangle choke, George Sotteropoulos. George Sotteropoulos, the winner. That uh, will do, yeah, yeah. Hey, what's up, Ant? Uh, that's your winnings. Let me just uh, give people currency. Good luck to it, man, yeah. And it takes time. Uh -huh. Right, and you have yourself a thousand points for betting. What's up, Vinny? Or do I pronounce your name differently? My bad if it, if I do. Uh, uh, well, I have to tell you because there is no way, which is a shame. You have a total of 646 points, so you won big there. UFC Undisputed 3. <laughs> uh, let me just get. Uh, let me just give everyone points. Give me a sec here. Uh, ID. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Wrong one. Oh, um, hold on. points most likely uh march next year Feb february march probably march i think maybe uh, they've been one of the um the game change so he doesn't know the release date uh, he did at this point ufc 3 so we'll see uh just trying to get 
currency here. Right. Everybody got some got themselves some portlands. I don't know about a beta in February. The beta for three was in um, November, December. That would mean three would four would be coming out in like kind of around the UFC one window, which is about um, which was about uh, June. But that was probably June because they acquired the license in twenty June of twenty twelve. So two years. Right, Nick, another DLC fight coming next. Another debut. It's Chris Lytle versus John Hathaway. Allow me to get the betting underway. Hold on. Uh, let me remove all. Uh huh. Right. And here we go. Ding dong. Remember, if you've just got points, you have a thousand. That's what everyone gets by default a thousand points. It's just virtual currency. But it's fun to play around with. Uh, Barboza uh, is a calf in this game. I haven't. Um, uh, it does get annoying, yeah. Haven't. Um, he, well, he last fought uh, UFC 10, 11? I think. Last time Hathaway fought was when he got flatlined by Dong Hyun Kim. So, um, Vini, what you want to do is, you, if you look at what Beta says, uh, Beta did, it's like exclamation mark bet, and then zero would be uh, Chris Lytle, and one would be Hathaway. Hey, glad you like it, man. Check the, pin, uh, check the description, the pinned comment, or description, the pinned comment on that video. There's a lot of changes. There you go. Right, I will stop betting in just a... Uh, in fact, I'll stop betting now. There we go. Oh, I think that was just a bit late. Sorry, Toughest. Big bets. Well, yeah. Well, just in future, I usually stop bets just as the fight starts. Last time, I was a bit late on that. But this time... I will, uh, yeah. In future, it's pretty much as soon as the fight starts, I'll stop the bets unless I forget. But, but don't worry, I don't think you'll. I don't think you lost any coin, uh, points. Ooh. No, 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 he's DLC. God, I wish you could make calves that look this good. And unique. Lytle's definitely... So here's the thing, because Lytle is definitely... His his best his best asset is his grappling. Um, but that's Hathaway's best asset as well, his wrestling. So we'll see how it plays out here. We'll see if Lytle throws up some submissions to sort of earth. Potentially throw off the wrestling of Hathaway. We are three fights deep. Lytle in full mount. Oh, he's a big shot there. He gives his back. Don't know if that's a good idea. Do you know, I've never seen an AI go for... I don't think so. I, at least especially in Universe Mode, I don't think I've seen an AI... Oh, nice. I don't, think, I don't think I've seen the AI ever go for a submission. Uh, a rear naked choke from that position. Uh, they exist. I just... I've never seen it. The AI do it. Bit of day boxing there in the clinch. Oh, nice push kick. You can definitely see that Hathaway is the... Uh, phys is the much... Physically bigger man. Ooh, that up, that up jab. Which isn't really an up jab because it's from the rear. At least that's what it looked like. Unless it was just a weird uppercut animation. Ooh, nice knee. Gets blocked. Now, Lyle's picking his shots here. He definitely knows he's at a disadvantage on the feet, probably. But um, he is... He's picking his shots. Cool. That's a good cool guy to do. Great mode. Oh, he rocks him at the end of the round. That's a statement. <laughs> yeah, one of the two. Oh, Discord. Sorry, my bad. So, we were, so this is universe mode where we basically run... You know what? Hold on. Let me just... Let me just get the explanation that I had up. Uh... Oh, 
Let's take a look at some of the actions in that round, Mike. This was well timed here. Just a beautiful slip there we go. and counter. And here's that. You know what's mad is, is essentially just we use the game's event mode to run our own organization. Well, which is, you know, the UFC, except, you know, we have cards, rankings, champs, Grand Prix now and again, everything like that. And on occasion, there are storylines and injuries and stuff, and potentially even drug test failures. <laughs> Oh, Lighter lands that shot. Man, Hathaway's got to be careful here. He doesn't want to get hurt again. Because Lighter could grab an arm or a leg when he's when he's rocked. Nice left hook there from Hathaway. Man, Lighter's starting to slow down. Let's see if Halloway shoots for a takedown. Oh, I don't know. That's the best idea. Halloway definitely is not going to have the upper hand in the submissions. But, yeah, Bigfoot lost to Gonzaga. Oh, sorry. Uh, Bigfoot lost to Gonzaga, actually, in bare knuckle. That was pretty sad. Um, well, Jones has retired from universe mode, so... He just he wasn't finding a ton of success and he was sort of languishing around the top bottom of the top fifteen and he took a loss to Mickweed, so Which is kind of like if you lose to Mickweed it's like eh I mean he's like he's he's not he's not great. He just he's a pure submission grappler. And when I mean pure I mean pure submission grappler. So if you lose to him it's kinda of like eh Well he's kinda of like he's on a sabbatical then. But he's for all intents and purposes he's basically retired for the time being. Hey, what's up, Cougar? Ooh. Stands up. That's wise. Ooh, taunts him. Can I just say, by the way, the GOAT commentary team? Well, I say the GOAT commentary team. It's, 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 a, it's basically a, a three-way. It's, three it's a tie between Cruz, Anik, and DC. And, uh... Anik, oh, sorry. Anik, Cruz, and DC. And Anik... DC and Rogan, that's the that's those two are the best commentary teams in MMA, in my opinion. And I love Mike Goldberg, but honestly at first I was really sad that he went, but when I go back and watch some of the old fights where he had commentary, it, it really shows the improvement that Anik made, like for the Anik is in terms of like just being a commentator rather than just being a hype man. Repeating similar line, you know, just he doesn't repeat really weird facts. I mean, Goldie was is 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 a classic guy, but he's also I don't know. It's it's interesting. Speaking of talking about things that aren't relevant to the fight, me. So there you go. I'm gonna charge my controller because it's low on battery. Even though I'm not using it, but still. The quick jab. Hit him with that jab. Jab his ass. Do you know who's great in the corners? Matt Sarah and Ray Longer. Um, I think Lytle is winning. He's definitely up. He's definitely got the first round. Oh, should I trust? WWE 2K should arrive this week. Ooh. Tomorrow or the day after. Yeah, I bought 2K19, so. Oh, I sleep in, dude. My sleep schedule is it's upside down. I sleep like an American half the time. I try and sleep properly, but, well, you know. Yeah, I, I, not, I, didn't go, I didn't sleep over the time, but by the time I woke up, you know, some stuff came up. So, Oh, he's about to go for a knee there. That would have been dangerous. Again, he shoots. Maybe uh, Lytle's feeling that. Like, feeling, feeling tired on the feet, so he's trying to get it to where he's at. <laughs> What's in two weeks? Oh! And some shots. Hey, by the way, Death Stranding. Holy shit! Just can't wait to play that. That shit is being streamed on my channel. So, yeah. And so is The Last of Us 2. You think you're at our level of procrastination. <laughs> I don't know if I, I don't know if I dreamed about anything that, uh, tonight. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. I'll see if I can pick it up. 
I did just buy a couple of games though, so. Oh, well, that was a weird half guard transition. But he's in full bound. I'll have to see how much it is in Euros. It's probably the same, because... Dude, Game Pass is so good. Like, it's the you get so many games to play for like what, like a cheap. It's 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 like renting games, but sort of a bit more personal than renting a game. I played the the two Metro, the first two Metro games on Game Pass, and it, it got me into the series. I've I've, I've I've always heard of them, but I never really, never really you know played them or knew too much about them but oh beautiful uppercut from high from how the way Lytle's rocked he's down this could be it he's hurt this would be a comeback it's over it's over John Hathaway takes out Chris Lytle at his debut game pass is uh, is great I really I, I love the hell of it I love the Metro series I haven't played I've I'm, 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 I'm only started playing Exodus I still, like stopped playing early because of the dead zone issues um so what happened is I wait. Uh, they eventually fixed it, the, or they added another de a preset to fix the dead zone. I'm, I'm just waiting to go back to finish it. Or I say, I say, um, waiting to go back to finish it. I'm waiting to um, play again. Uh, you want to start off with 2033, and then you want to play Last Light, and then you want to play Exodus. 2033 is the first. 2033. Oh my god, that game is so good. That. Th Last Light is also really good, but 2033 especially. The atmosphere is crazy good. And just, ugh. Oh, I've heard about Destroy Humans. Exodus, from so far, I've not played much, but it seems like a return to the 2033. Uh, it seems like a return to the 2033 atmosphere a little more than... Uh, last night, although like, I've not really written that far at all. So, do you know that game? I, I got it when it came out, and holy shit, the save bugs! Um, I actually had to restart my game. I had to play, and I had to play through an hour again because I couldn't load. I couldn't save or load the game or something like that. It was very annoying. But yeah, I'm pretty sure that's fixed now. Anyway, um, mm, I've heard they are. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, you have. Uh, I'll have to, I have to. I have to tell you how many points you have. I wish. I wish you could do it uh, automatically, but or you could search it up by command. You have nine hundred ninety-seven points. Yeah, my Xbox One is filling up as well. I recently bought the original Red Dead Redemption. I know what happens to a couple of characters, but meh. Um, you know, I know some big plot points, but uh, actually, I don't really know the big plot points. I just know. Well, I guess I do. I know what happens to a couple of characters. And, but you know, besides that, I still want to really enjoy the game. I love the Red Dead Redemption Two is one of my favorite games of all time. So, right, betting time. How do we want? So, yo, I've never actually played. I've actually, wait, I, te I think I played Red Dead. Red Have I played? No, I don't know if I played Red Dead. Revolver, but I, I've definitely remember. I, I definitely remember hearing about it. I might have to pick up Revolver, man. I really might. Um, would would I would I retire a fire? Well, you can't officially, but we we do in universe mode, sort of. Hmm. I might have to. Right. So next fight is. Oh, Tia Trin Zhang versus uh, or Zhang versus Javier Vasquez. It's the battle of the DLC. Well, no, it, it, up, up, up ahead is the DLC buyers. Uh, we've got Sam Stout coming up, Alessio Sakara. You know, Dan Henderson versus Alessio Sakara is kind of a death, a death wish for. Um, uh, I don't know about today. We'll see. I lost my daily bonus, and it's like, ugh. But I was doing Modern Warfare, so it was like, eh. I got something out of it at least. At least I'm pretty sure I lost my daily. What am I doing? Lost my daily bonus. If I was to do a Red Dead Redemption stream, it would probably be a, a thing I would plan out. <laughs> yeah, alright, hold on. Let me just do the betting. I'll say it's a death wish for Sakara Henderson. It's his style, he gets knocked out, so we'll see. Or oh, he does get he does have a tendency to get knocked out, so we'll see how it goes with uh, Henderson. Yeah. You know, uh, stranger things have happened. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to stream again tonight. I don't know if I'm going to stream again tonight. We'll see. 
I, I, I... To be honest, I don't have much motivation to play the EA, the, the UFC games anyway, besides the three I disputed right now. I, I think I've burnt out on the EA bullshit, but, you know, I might play three again soon. Um, we'll see. Next time I go in, I've got to record some soundtracks anyway. So, anyway. Next fight, I'll start the bang. Remember, it's, the betting will stop when the fight starts, so. between Tia Trenjong and Javier Vasquez. An expert in Gracie Jiu-Jitsu, Javier Showtime Vasquez possesses lethal ground techniques and the wrestling skills to take the fight to his world. Fighting with experience and confidence, he'll be looking to showcase his submission artistry in the octagon tonight. A deadly submission artist, Tia Tren the Wolf Zhang, enters the octagon with a reputation for tapping opponents out, possessing world-class jiu-jitsu and imposing strength. The Wolf will be hunting for a spot at the top of the division. Energy, powered by Zions, the official energy drink of the UFC. And now with our official introductions, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Brazilian jiu-jitsu fighter. He stands five feet, seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Pomona, California, Javier Showtime Vasquez. And now, fighting out of the red corner, this man is a Brazilian jiu-jitsu fighter. He stands five feet, eight inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Beijing, China, Tia Tren, the Wolf, John. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of this contest is Mario Yamasaki. Mario Yamasaki, our referee. Hi again, everybody. Mike Goldberg alongside Joe Rogan. And we are ready for round one. Javier Vasquez, Tia Tren Shaw. Round one is underway. Yeah, court was the first fight. The the way UD3 works is the first main card fight is the first fight shown, and then it goes to the two undercard battles, and then it goes back to the main card. So everybody voting on Tia Zhang here. No money on Vasquez. I don't know if that's a smart idea. Vasquez is a savage man. So is Tia Zhang. Oh, uh, so Tia Zhang is very good as well, but Zhang's got those submissions. Although as I say that, back mount. Yeah, I, I don't know if it's just how the, 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 the I, I think the cards back in the day were a little different to how they are now. I don't remember the, the main card fight being first, but maybe that's just a thing that you decided on. I wish you could have just about order, like, what, like, I don't know. It'd be weird if you had the undercard fights at the front, but it, I don't know. It'd be cool if you could adjust it a little bit anyway. By the way, lads, when I get WW2K, do you know what's happening, don't you? Mr. Dickweed is going to hit people with a few sledgehammers. Or hit a few people with sledgehammers. That should be fun. 
Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I suppose he is similar, yeah. Ooh, a nice punch there from Zhang. In the full guard here. Half guard. Just about one minute remains in the first round. Passes to half guard. Yeah, what I like about some of the low rated fighters have some more of the interesting moves. Which I quite like. It makes them more viable. Look at how he's utilizing the cage effectively. Like, Kendall Grove is, is, the is, is fairly decent. I mean, he isn't, but he is because of his moves. Like, he's got some interesting moves. He's got the front kicks. He's got head kicks. He's got... Um, he's got rubber guard, triangle choke, elbows. Hey, uh, all right. Let me. Free yawning. Thank you for subscribing, vibes. Um, well, I've got to give you some because I thought we'd have to do it manually. So give me a sec here. Let's go to the replay of that right there is no betting right now. Well, there is, but we stopped it for this one. We stopped it for this fight, but next fight they'll be better. They'll be betting. Look at the speed on this takedown here. So much athleticism, and here was that suplex. So much amazing technique in that. There you go. You've got a thousand points. A thousand is default. Yeah, Grove isn't great. Oh, his record isn't great, but. The beautiful Hey, I uh, I was I heard a rumor that uh, it's on it was on Twitter. Um, well, it was on Twitter via a YouTube video. The P the PS5 might have backwards compatibility with all of the old consoles. Which on now, my first reaction is, eh, it might just be well, you know wishful thinking. The PS3 is extremely hard to emulate, but. If that's possible, if it can emulate PS3 games, like hardware emulation, which is perfect, or at least pretty much perfect, it probably it would probably it would almost certainly be software. Uh, well, perhaps they do it like the Xbox One, which is software, but like some of the old consoles, uh, you know, architecture is built onto the silicon, if I remember correctly, something like that, something like that um, with the PS3, and it was where the emulation is really good, uh, and it can play pretty much the entire PlayStation library. Um, for the PS3, we have ourselves on this 3 backwards compatibility, ladies and gentlemen. And if it forces 4K slash, you know, increased, uh, increased, uh, you know, texture work and all, well, that will come with the 4K. But, you know, increased, I don't know, just increased quality of some things, which, you know what I mean. Um, yeah, it will, yeah, I imagine it will, I know it's got back, backwards compatibility with the PS4. Where are we in the event? Where are, we are, how many we fights in, are we? Oh, we are one, two, three, four fights in. Four fights to go. Yeah, bloody fight indeed. I tell you what, Xbox, they they hit the, they hit a gold mine with their backwards compatibility, man. That was so, such a smart thing. I mean, I love the backwards compatibility. I don't have many games that are backwards compatible, but it's really cool that I don't have to. I mean, I have my 360 here, but it's nice when you get. Um, if you have an X as well, you get a few graphical bonuses on some of the games, which is cool. And here's the great thing. If you buy a game on Xbox One that's backwards compatible on the 360, you get it on your 360 account. Which perhaps makes sense, but I just found that cool anyway. He's got an armbar here. This might be it. But this is kind of... We'll see. Uh, he might be able to escape. Perhaps not. This is tight. And he's got it. Javier Vasquez gets his first win in universe mode. God, I mean, he was coming of a loss to Conor McGregor. He gets it done. Wins in impressive fashion. That's a cool celebration. Yeah, Gomi and Okami are awesome. <laughs> yeah, you see here, once he's got this, he's got the arm isolated. He arches his back, pulls it, extends the arm for the tap. Let's see it again. As soon as he extends <laughs> that arm, just, his opponent has no choice but to tap here. We are the real Javier Vasquez. Please stand up. Has the 
official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario. Uh, well, unfortunately, I, you know what? I don't know if there's a command for that. I'm going to have to look into it. But um, let's see. I think I've got a right code for it. <laughs> I think I'm going to have to. Um, I'm going to have to get a command in for that. Sequel for what? Oh, I can't read the game. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna have to write a command for that. I don't or get a command. In. I don't know if that's even possible. I have to do. It. I have to. So f right now, I have to check the balance manually. So you have. Hold on. Where are you? You have 920 points. So there you go. Right. Next fight. Who uh, Vasquez won that? So no money on Vasquez. Right. Hold on. Let me get the next fight up here. This fight happened in real life, which is kind of why I made it. I like the idea of it, but there we go. Betting is live for the next fight. Yeah, I'll start a Ultimate Fighter soon. <laughs> You evil bastard! How dare you! Well, I mean, I say how dare you. Obviously, I'm joking anyway, but that would even how dare you doesn't make sense in a joking context. But it's okay because we're on to the next fight, so we can get over that. Right? Yeah, I have no commands yet. I got, I got, like, I got to find some. I'll have to see if this is possible for the next stream or something, if I remember. Anyway, next up, Ross Pearson versus Sam Stout. So there you go. I think it should be a good one. between Ross Pearson and Sam Stout. If there's one thing you can count on from Canadian kickboxer Sam Stout, it's an electrifying fight. A multiple fight of the night, a multiple fight of the night winner, he has proven time and time again that he's one of the most fearless and exciting strikers in the division. With a wide variety of strikes and effective submissions, Ross Pearson is looking to go from ultimate fighter winner to lightweight contender. Tonight, the real deal is ready to chalk up another win for MMA in the UK. with the official introductions, the veteran voice of the Octagon, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer. He stands five feet, nine inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of London, Ontario, Canada. Sam, hands of stone stout. And now, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist. He stands five feet, eight inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Sunderland, England. Ross, the real deal, Pearson. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of this contest is Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata, our referee. I'm Mike Goldberg with Joe Rogan, and we're ready to get things started. Sam Stout, Ross Pearson. And here we go. Let's go, guys. Fight. 
Oh, I'm so jealous of Sam Stout. Re! As uh, Mr. Big Man Tyrone says. Oh, it's a Black Man Tyrone. Yeah, I wish I could be half the fight that night as Sam Stout. Oh, look at this. Ross Pearson for a take for a takedown. This is interesting here. In real life, uh, Pearson won this fight with the left hook. It's beautiful. Ooh. They go to the left hook there. <laughs> Get away, Dolby. Go for that high kick. <laughs> Ooh. Nice right hook there. They're going at it. But Pearson is definitely being the more aggressive, but um, Sam is landing some good shots as well. I think it definitely has the grappling advantage. <laughs> Look at this. As I say that, he's going for the throw as Pearson. Oh, oh! Tries to go for a knee, and Pearson does the uh, legendary spin around a bit to distract your opponent. <laughs> Somebody has to be dead by the end of round one. If they're not dead, it doesn't count. Yeah. Oh. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That works. If you want, then just like... Ooh, Pearson's gassed. If you want, then I can just create anyone that looks, you know, like a human, I guess. Oh, that was a lovely reversal. And I can um, just give you a name. If you if you, if you don't have a name, that's fine. I'll just pick any name, I guess. Perhaps I'll go with the, uh, the, the, uh, the YouTube name. Who's going to lead the houses? What, how, how, what houses are we talking to, uh, Wait, what houses are we talking about here? Oh, oh, the houses. Yes, yeah. You mean the, the teams. Yeah, yeah. If I had the expertise, I would make the Game of Thrones uh, intro, but with um, but with uh, the Ultimate Fighter and just like MMA type deal there uh, in the intro instead of you know Westeros uh, iconic uh, icons. Why must it be heavyweight? Oh wait, wait. Why must it be? What, because of the... No, I'm pretty sure they've had a... No, they've done it. They've done, um... Raquel Pennington was... Misha Tate coach Raquel Pennington, so... And they were, they were in the same division. I want to be at house in Gadu. Yeah, he, uh... He re I mean, he was just... He, what he was was a husk. Oh, nice lead, lead hook. Yeah, hook of the lead hook, lads. Lead hook. Oh. Hey, nice right hook. I want medieval the ultimate fire. It's just swords. Swords and shields. That's a pretty nasty cut now on Stout, Mike. Ooh, nice catch. Hey, what's up, Liam? Nice throw by Ross. Elbow to the body. Let's see if he can get full man. Oh, the ultimate knighter. That's great. That is great. The winner gets to knight somebody. Oh, oh, he's landing big shots, is Ross. Oh, he rocks him. He's hurt. He's hurt. 
But he isn't finished. Look at this. Sam is firing back, but he's getting caught. Do you know, I really wanted to make videos on Mario Maker when it was still, you know, before this. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I never got around to connecting up my Wii U to the Elgato and actually recording videos of it. That would have been fun. I'm not very good at Mario, but it would have been fun. Crazy levels of blind. Yeah, that was pretty incredible how he won the belt with no eyes. Or, like, being completely blind. Oh, oh definitely winning this round. Oh, nice right hook, but he's slowing down. He's looking for the oh. oh, Stout knocks him down. Pearson trying to, Stout's trying to get up here. Which is actually a smart idea when he's gassed, but... End of the round, anyway. Nice throw here. Unbelievable suplex, beautiful technique. Yeah, uh, yeah, I could see it being one one. And this is that punishing strike from the ground. We had a twenty nine twenty seven last week, was which was right interesting. I think it was last week anyway. Power in that shot. If it wasn't last week, it was the week before. I'm pretty sure it was last week. Some good striking in that round, Mike. Don't vary from the game plan. Draw is rare, but they've happened. Don't vary from the game plan. We actually had a majority draw in universe mode, which was awesome. Did he retire? I know Dana said something about him retiring. What's up, human, by the way? Ooh, look at that push kick. Oh, left hook. Nice. Got an attempt at a throw there. Oh, okay. Yeah, he, he's pretty done. Oh, Sam rocks Pearson. He's down. This could be it. Oh, ho, ho. Sam Stout. The champ, 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 champ. Sam Stout, man. He gets it done after being hurt. Sam Stout with the victory. Man. Ground and pound 101. Yeah, let's take a look at the replay. Here you see him just standing over him, just pounding his face in. Did I poke him like a true... Man, who are we talking about here? Alright, I'm about to give you 50. Yeah, make sure not to... Uh, well, I say make sure. My recommendation would be not to um, go crazy with betting. At least... Not too early, anyway. Uh, well, you could win, but you could also lose. It's the nature of betting. You've actually got 55 points. So you're not completely out. You've still got a few left. At least for now. I don't know how long it's going to take to update. But... Um... 1,251. The recipe is dead! Right, let's get the thing up. Uh, 
Uh, I just need to give you some points here. Give me a sec. Um. Well, I'll give you a thousand points, which is the default. Well, I say the default. It's what I just give everyone a thousand points. So, what happens is when I start betting, which which will be now, um, you can. Um, You know what, maybe I should raise the max to just 10,000 so people can, if they really want to, they can bet everything. Anyway, um, you just do um, exclamation mark bet and then space the number, which so that'll be uh, zero for Den Dan Henderson. I almost said Dan Henderson. Zero for Dan Henderson and one for Lester Sakar, and then that's another space and then the amount of points you want to bet. So, there you go. Anyway, next fight, here we come. Those guys were pretty hurt as well. That's, that's a good one. Next, it's a middleweight matchup between Dan Henderson and Alessio Sakara. Feared striker Alessio Sakara has been training in boxing since the age of 11. Now a longtime veteran of the octagon, he's racked up MMA victories over notable competition like James Irvin and Talis Lates. One of the most decorated athletes in the history of the sport, Dan Henderson represented the USA in Greco-Roman wrestling before becoming a mixed martial arts champion. Tonight, he'll be looking to use that world-class grappling along with his heavy hands to add one more achievement to his impressive career. Shape Gel. Get your edge. Once again, with our official introductions for this battle, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Coconut Creek, Florida, Alessio Legionarius Sakara. And now, fighting out of the red corner, this man is a mixed martial artist. He stands six feet, one inch tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Temecula, California. This man is a former welterweight, middleweight, and Grand Prix champion of pride. Dan Hendo Henderson! And when the action begins, our referee in charge of this contest is Herb Dean. Herb Dean is our referee. Mike Goldberg alongside my partner Joe Rogan. Round one is about to begin. Are you ready to fight? Alessio Sakara, Dan Henderson. And here we on, go with Dan Henderson. Seems everyone uh, is hedging their bets on um, Dan Henderson, so. Oh, that right, he's hurt! Sakara immediately is in trouble, but he recovers. Hendo coming out with that power. Man, he's got to be good if he doesn't, doesn't blow his gas tank, but Sakara's got power, man. He could come back. There is kind of a size difference in there, of course, the former light heavyweight. We'll have to see if he gets that wrestling going, uh, Henderson. But I have a feeling he's going to try and keep this on the feet. Obviously, he's got that wrestling in his back pocket if he needs it. Oh, that's that right hand. So, oh, look at that. See, goes to the takedown, gets him in half guard. So, Carl's got to be careful. Uh, no, no, no. Check the description. You'll see the card order. 
Well, the battle order, rather. Which is technically the card order. Oh. Yeah, he is not playing around here. He wants that win after taking a loss to uh, Israel Adesanya, I believe, in his last fight. And though inside control, but not able to get any ground and pound off. Gets reversed. If I was... See, this is a tricky one for Sakara because he do... he's not really going to out-wrestle Henderson, but he's probably going to take less damage than he would on the feet. But then again, his striking is, is definitely his best asset. Nicely done. Let's see what he does from here, Joe. Side control. Yeah, it's been pretty uh, interesting because immediately out the gate it was, you know, wild. Hendo was throwing bombs and now it's a little bit slow. It's slowed down a little bit, but still some damage being done. Oh, nice uh, nice left hand there from Sakara. Trying to stand up is uh, Legionarius. <laughs> Seconds in the see if he's got any. Oh, see if he's got any knees. There we go. There's one. Oh, lands that left hook, but nice uppercut from Legionarius. Rips that body. Hendo, look at that right hand. At any moment, the fight could be over. That's a nice jab to. Nice head movement by Sakara there. Got that jab going to stop the right hand. Throw it off course. Then the head movement at the end. Striking, grappling, you name it. That is a round that MMA fans will be talking about for quite some time. This is your time. You, you stepped up with your hands in the space fast. Fast. All right, hard hands. I think he definitely won because of the rock and the takedown. But at the end of the round, Sakara was definitely... He was definitely bringing it back a little bit. Look at that. Uppercut, right hand, left hook. Pain. But pretty good recovery from Sakara. Okay. Interesting. Who knows, right? I mean, I, I think Sakara got it. Oh, so Hedno got it because he rocked him. And he got a takedown, so... It's definitely possible. I mean, he's. I, I, I personally think he's up around that he did, definitely did more damage in that first round. He hit some of the right hand. Look at that, trying to go for that jab. Get the range. Again. A little bit. Good he over under. I'm not controlling anyone. Anyway. It's uh, AI versus AI. Beauty of us mode is where we, we watch the fights. Ooh, Hendo trying to get full mount there. He's still not able to get it. Sakara's doing a good job of um, making sure he doesn't get put into mount. Right, <laughs> Hendo's really working that wrestling. Doesn't maybe doesn't want to blow his gas on the feet. So you got to think this is frustrating for a guy like Sakara who just wants to stand and bang. But this is MMA, so. I mean, Sakara definitely has some, you know, he's got some grappling credentials. Of course, though, his striking is his bread and bar. He's in full guard here. Now, Himo's been here for a long time, man. That would be cool. That'd be really cool. Oh, nice sprawl there. I was wondering if he'd go for an intercept knee, but... Oh, look at this. The taunts from, um, from Sakara. Oh, Superman punch. Hendo backing up a little bit. Nice low key. <laughs> He's old and frail. Nice jab right hand from Sakara. He's, he's putting the pace on him now. Hey, what's up, Anne? Right 
Hey, cool shove, yeah. Superman punches are awesome, yeah. Especially with... Now, they're, they're a lot better in Undisputed than they are in yeah, UFC. At least UFC 2. Well, so they're better in 3, but not great. See if Hendo's able to get him down. Not, not, not much time left in the round. He might be able to get some dirty boxing off here. Yeah, he's DLC. I suppose you could try and create him yourself. The tattoos would be a pain. I don't think that'd really be possible. Not to the same extent, anyway. Mm, I suppose. Yeah, I didn't think about that combo. <laughs> Actual Bob Ross or Violent Bob Ross? Let's check out some of the action from that round, Mike. Very nice takedown here. And some incredible power on that shot here. Just connected perfectly. Ooh. <clears throat> yeah, he got pretty annoyed. I mean, I guess he can... I, I can see how he thought he won, but... That was a close fight. Actual ball was cool. Yeah, it's a three-rounder. Uh, you can't have a five-round fight on uh, non-pay-per-view cards in this game. And, well, no, the only, back then, the only five-round fights were title fights, so. Nice little fate now, the right hand from Hendo. Tries to give the uppercut. Look, uh, Sakara's taking his call as advice. He's going with the low kicks. Um, a little bit, yeah, tried to. Nice low kick from Sakara. Oh, gets caught, but he sways out the second punch. By the way, the second punch. Oh, Hendo's timing that Superman punch. He's got to be careful because that hat, that that up, that uppercut's getting closer each time. Oh, he lands the right hand. Nice little jab there to nullify the. Oh, nice combo. It's a nice jab to nullify the right hand. Tries to go for the high kick. Back to their feet. Oh, he's hurt. He's hurt. Sakara's in trouble, but Hendo really go. He's going to the body there. <laughs> wow, I didn't know you could have 12 rounders. That seems exhausting. But in a fun way. Um, It's whatever you want, really. Oh, Sakara knocks down Henderson. Oh, but Hendo catches a punch. He's in trouble, though. He's in trouble. Oh, we got reversed. Sakara catches the punch. He reverses him. Let's see if he can land some ground and pound. The odds are really stacked against Sakara here, but he's 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 saying to hell with the, the odds. He's going at it. Taking the wall by the horns hit. Bendo using the cage, trying to get back to his feet. He's able to. Let's see if Sakara gets some damage off in the tie clinch. If he's able to get the tie clinch. Not able to there. Double unders for Hendo. Let's see if he throws him. Oh, he gets him down. <clears throat> There's a minute left. Oh, left hands from Hendo. Honestly, if Sakara can survive this round and not take too much damage, he, he could get the win here. But he's eating shots from Henderson. Oh, wow. That seems pretty cool, though, the option to have that. Let's see if Sakara stands up. So I control it. That doesn't look like they're going to be standing up. That would be good, yeah. Oh, Hendo's gas. Look at this. The tortoise. Let's see if he goes for a high kick to end the fight. Just a jab. That's a good round. Oh, yeah. Good break. Good fight. I think Sakara could have potentially taken that. It depends, though. It might, it might, yeah, the second round was really the... Because the, the, definitely Hendo won the first round. Sakara seems pretty happy, and his team seems pretty happy. Yeah, anticlimactic yeah, jab, yeah. Although, now I think about it, he got rocked, so... Mm, maybe that third round does go to... Um, does go to um, Hendo, yeah. Yeah, I forgot about that for a second. But then, but then Sakara rocked him, so again, it kind of balances out. And he knocked him down, so... Who knows, right? 
Who knows? We'll have to see. We'll have to see how we go, how it how we goes tonight. Decision time. Judges score it 29, 28, 29. Oh, so it's a UD. And 29, 28, declaring the winner by unanimous decision. Alessio wow. Legionarius Sakara pulls it off. He gets the decision win. That's a big one for him. He needed that. He needed that. He's coming off a loss. That's his first win in. Universe mode, man. What a t what a t what a warrior. Both of them. He's tough as fuck. I mean, he survived some big da some big some big strikes. Yeah, man. Hendo was looking like the big favorite, but Hendo honestly really kind of blew his cast like a little bit. Yeah, yeah. He's DLC. He's DLC. Yes. This is middleweight. So a grand total of nobody um, has been awarded no points um, for betting on uh, Sakara, but hey, sometimes the underdogs can spring up upsets. Or can spring upsets. Yeah, right, next fight, which is the co-main event of the evening, should be a banger. Alistair Overeem versus the newly minted heavyweight, shall we say, uh, Rampage Jackson, who had a lot of success against Chet Conga. Um... He just he poor check man. He's he's having a rough time with it. He got flatlined by Fedor, flatlined by by Rampage. Um, we'll have to see how he gets on, but that's two brutal knockouts. So we'll have to see how he gets on. Okay. Next fight. event of the evening a heavyweight collision between Alistair Overeem and the always entertaining Quentin Rampage Jackson popular light heavyweight Quentin Jackson is known for two things his trash talk and his power with dynamite in his hands and explosive slams from the clinch Rampage is capable of hammering out a knockout victory at any second One of the most powerful and feared strikers of all time. Alistair Overeem has held prestigious world titles in both MMA and kickboxing at the same time. Tonight, this gifted athlete will be looking to showcase his infamous striking skills inside the octagon. Cycles worthy of being in the octagon, Harley Davidson. We are now set for the official introductions, and with that, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the co main event of the evening. Three rounds of fighting in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist. He stands six feet, one inch tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Irvine, California, by way of Memphis, Tennessee, Witton Rampage Jackson! And now, fighting out of the red corner, this man is a kickboxer. He stands six feet, five inches tall, weighing in at 255 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, the Demolition Man, Alistair Overeem. And 
when the action begins, our referee in charge of this contest is Kevin Mohall. Kevin Mohall, our referee. Mike Goldberg with Joe Rogan, and we are ready to start round one. Okay, fighters. You Quentin ready. Rampage you Jackson, ready. Alistair Overeem. And here we go. Let's see how this one goes. Overeem got, a, got his... Uh, I believe he beat Bob Sapp, or I'm not sure how. No, he got rocks with a baby punch from Sapp. So even Uberim's chin is not great. I mean, it never has been, but still, Uberim could take a lot more damage than current Reem. Oh, nice uppercut from Rampage. Now, Uberim is a massive step up from Chet Congo in terms of experience and striking prowess. Although Congo definitely is a good striker in his own right, but Uberim is, you know, unquestionably more skilled. Um, and has especially more experience. So we'll see how he gets on against Overeem. Look at this though. They're landing. They're, they're trading leather right here. Both are landing bombs. Smart, smart from uh, Rampage. But I, 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 you got to think. I mean, I don't know if he'll be at a strength disadvantage. Per se. I mean, he definitely. I mean, Overeem will probably be stronger, but I don't think he's going to be un, like ungrapplingly strong. If that makes any sense, like to the point where Rampage can't really grapple him due to the strength. Just avoid him, but look at that! He rocks him! With the, he goes with the right hand, trying to knock him down. Man, Rampage starting to gas a little bit, though. Overeem's in, a, in trouble early. Let's see how he... Uh, let's see how he... Fires back here. Ooh, let's see if he gets those tinies. Oh, brutal knee from the clinch by Overeem. He hurts him. Will he be able to knock him down? Not able to. Yeah, this is fire so far, as they say. Man. The crowd showing their support for Rampage. Oh, they both try and go for hooks. Nice counter there by... Oh, another nice counter by Rampage and then a counter by Overeem. Straight to the body. Nice catch. Let's see if uh, Overeem breaks, yeah. Ooh, ooh. Hits him with the knee, sort of. Slightly blocked, but threw out there anyway. Overeem's... Oh, Overeem takes an uppercut. Well, so yeah, someone's going to gas. I, I think it's probably going to be Overeem. Well, Rampage has gassed a little bit, but not to the... Uh, or, or not... I, I mean, it's not like late in the fight and he can never recover. Like, gas... Not never recover, but he... Yeah. It doesn't take too long to recover from being gassed. And he knocks him down. Oh, he rocks him! With 15 seconds to go! Can this be it? He catches the strike over him. He recovers. It's a true heavyweight fight indeed, yeah. The first round, gotta go to Rampage, although that was a really nice knee in the clinch from Alistair. Yeah, man, he's got the skill. And he's got the power. Let's take a look at some of the action from that round, Mike. Here's that beautiful counter punch. And here's that devastating counter strike. That is world Oh, striking. that knee. And this is that ground and pound pure domination right there. Great round for fans of the stand-up game. Remember, if you do go broke, you will get 50 to 75 credits. Well, uh, currently Rampage, um, but it was it was a well. I mean, I say close round. Rampage rocked over him twice. Uh, over him rocked Rampage once, but it was a beautiful knee in the clinch against the cage as well. And it looks like they're about to go straight back at it. Pick up where they left off. Nice little straight to the body by uh, over him. Potentially slow Rampage down a bit. Take some of the air, the air out of those wings. I don't know if Overeem wants, or if, if Alistair, uh, if Rampage wants to be in the clinch with Alistair. Obviously, you know, Rampage is very strong. So is Overeem, though. But Rampage can handle himself in the clinch, but I don't know if he wants to be with a guy like Overeem, who is a fantastic kickboxer and has a famous um, Tiny, which was so powerful that it actually got Tiny's ban from K1, if I remember correctly. Yeah, looking for it from the single collar, but they break. Oh, nice right hand from uh, from from Rampage. Oh, he hurts him with the left hand. He knocks him down with the right. 
This could be it. Can Rampage survive? Can, can Overeem survive? It's over. Rampage wins again at heavyweight. The power that he has just... The way it transfers across divisions. And here we see just jumps all over his opponent and starts raining bombs from the top. What a great display. <laughs> and that was all his opponent could take. Just brutal punches from the top. Man. Just standing right over him. Pounds Rampage down. Jackson. Yeah. decision here is Bruce Buffer ladies and gentlemen right, I'll give you some uh, some coins uh, some credits um, points uh, but alpha beta alpha alpha beta whatever you want I mean I don't think you might be called either yeah, you got five yeah, I'll give you 50 there you go you got 50 points now don't think I'll give you 45 so I'll give you uh, you know you had five points right? there you go Fitty. Main event coming up next. It is Yushin Okami versus Anthony Rumble Johnson. So we'll see how it goes. I'm expecting um, Okami to use that judo. Um, and we'll see how he gets, uh, gets going on the ground. Well, um, I have to see. I have to check your balance manually. Yeah, yeah. Um, you're gonna need some points though, let me see, hold on. I think I gave you some. Yeah, you've got a thousand points, which is about what everyone gets to, to, uh, to begin with. So anyway, uh, what happens is when the betting starts, which I will do now actually, hold on. Uh, let's remove all. Uh -huh. <laughs> Someone said on the Mal Huckler video, don't know who's wasting more of his life, this guy or me watching it? <laughs> I can assure you, my friend, it's most likely me. Uh, in fact, almost certainly me. Uh, allow me to get the betting set up. So, for this fight. Betting has been an awesome addition, I think. It, it takes a little bit to set up uh, initially, but then, you know, we get it rolling and it's all good. It's good fun. And I, I, I imagine it adds a bit of, uh, you know, a good bit of tension to the fights for you guys as well who do bet. Now, of course, it doesn't, you know, they're just, vir they're just virtual points, but still, you know. It's a fun way to bet without actually using real money. Right, here we go. Next fight, what, 100% damage. I'll probably put it on him. between Japan's Yushin Okami and Anthony Rumble Johnson. A fan favorite for both his explosive knockout power and the respect he shows his opponents, Anthony Rumble Johnson is hoping to add yet another knockout of the night or fight of the night award to his resume here this evening. A top middleweight contender, Yushin Okami has a ruthless and efficient ground and pound style. With a resume featuring a who's who of the sports elite, this Japanese star is no stranger to world-class competition and plans on smashing his way to another octagon victory. to you by the only motorcycles worthy of being in the octagon harley davidson and now with the official introductions of our fighters bruce buffer ladies and gentlemen this is 
the main event of the evening. And now, live from the Pearl at the Palms in Las Vegas, it's time. Three rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of San Jose, California, Anthony Rumble Johnson. And now, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a Wajutso fighter. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Kanagawa, Japan. Yushan Thunder Okami! And when the action begins, our referee in charge of this contest is Eve Levine. Eve Levine, our referee. Mike Goldberg alongside my partner Joe Rogan, and we are ready to get this fight started. Anthony Johnson, Yushan Okami. And here we fight. go! Joe Anthony Johnson is one it is even, yeah. I wish you can't adjust the betting line per uh, per per uh, bet, which would be really nice. I wish I could. Um, I wish I could um, do that. I tried initially, but then I realized it just uh, no matter if you adjust the payout, it's just ah sorry, Bernard, you're just a little bit late. Um, it's just um, yeah, it's just a flat balance, but still, I mean, ooh, it's better than nothing at least, so. Oh, nice left hook from uh, Yushin. Rumble's got him carefully. He definitely has that power on the feet, but his grappling is, you know, definitely is deficient. Deficiency. Yeah, I'm glad we got it to work, uh, you know, in any form, really. Nice body shot. Roll for those high kicks. The eight ball says nine. Well, let's see if the eight ball is correct. If the eight ball is correct, you might as well just start seeing how many fights you can actually predict. Or, or, or yeah. Every main event, we can just roll, roll the eight ball and see what it says. Try to get that judo throw. He's got the body lock, so he, get, oh, he gets him down. Well, we'll try to get back to his feet. But... Ooh. Look at this, reversal from Rumble. Now he's on top. Man, Rumble's ground and pound is devastating. He's got side control. Great reversal. He's past the half guard. I don't think Rumble wants to be on his back though. Trying to utilize the cage to get back to his feet. I'd laugh if he goes for a guillotine or something. And then he gets it. Looking for the takedown. Good sprawl. Ooh, nice shot there from Sprawl. There you go, he stands up. That's a wise decision. Nice body, nice body shot for yeah, get a nice Oh lovely takedown. That was a nice body shot from uh, Yushin. You know, sap that cardio, that energy. And back to full guard. Side control. End of the first round. That was a good round. It was a decent round, anyway. It'll be interesting to see what adjustments they make before going into the next round. Hey, what's up, TJ? Let's take a look at some of the action from that round, Mike. This was an unbelievable suplex, beautiful technique. And this was that hard fought takedown to get the fight to the mat. And here was that takedown that landed right after the missed strike. I gotta add some more commands like that. A lot of versatility being shown in that round, Mike. Go to the body and press him back. You gotta kill this motherfucker. This 
is round two. And here we, we go. go. Oh. Oh my god. I forgot about Batista, the Kamala Pizza Sumon. Yeah, I haven't used them in a long while, so it's, um... I forgot about them. Pushing his opponent away. He lets him up. They're fun. The, the Batista one is fun. One, two, Don't ask that. Yeah. <laughs> He, see, he's covering for Rumble. It's those, it's those diuretics. <laughs> oh wait, sorry, a different one. Sorry, I thought it was replying to, um, to. Um, I thought it was replying to Noah. Still, that's um, yeah, it doesn't know. Even the eight ball doesn't know. <clears throat> Let's we'll see if the eight ball decides to talk. I don't know if it's a thing where it cools down. <laughs> well, that's um, it's better than no, I suppose. Or, or yes. Yeah, sorry, I haven't been commenting too much. Laughed at it. I was laughing at a couple of commands. Ooh. Now this eight ball is a savage. Doesn't care. Oh shit. Oh shit, forecasting the eventual Dickweed versus Mickweed matchup. Rumble! Rumble with that power! He hurts him! But Akami. Akami survives. Rumble's starting to get. He's gassing. Well, the Able predicts that Akami's gonna lose, I believe. So. Oh. Um, Sakara. Oh, Rumble goes down again. Inside the guard. Banned. <laughs> banned. Isn't it that guy that says get that ass banned? Well, isn't it named Low Tier God or something? Absolutely, Mike. It'll be interesting to see if they keep it on the feet in the third. He didn't even reply. Can you hear me? Perfect. Yeah, low, low tier god. Did I did I say low tier gamer? I meant low tier god. Wait, who did I wait? Who did I say? Was I say something? I fucking forget. Yeah, Overeem got uh, blasted into the stratosphere. Well, he got hit a few times and then he got he got knocked down. He didn't get flash KO'd or knocked out cold. But. Oh, low tier god. Sorry, sorry, I get confused. Um, oh, did I say low tier god? Fucking hell. Hold on. I'm getting confused now. It is him, yeah, okay. Yeah, over even got beat up. What's up, Luke? Mega, yeah, alright, cool. Uh, Mega Solid, thanks. Mega Solid 5 will start sometime in the future. There you go. <laughs> if you don't show up on the exact day, you will be deleted from all forms of social media forever no um i don't know we'll see uh so i'll be wanting to do it but we have to wait till the time's right which is i don't know sometime we'll see probably not too long De no not tonight not tonight oh shit oh no, kami gets into side control we'll have to see if he can um let's see if he can get some well i was gonna say if he gets a grab off but you gotta think Rumble's gotta go back to his feet, man. Yeah, I haven't played it through the story, the main story. Since. Yeah, it is repetitive. <laughs> you have, I have your permission. Um, yeah, it is part repetitive. I wish I could turn down the frequency of reversals without lowering the difficulty too much. Because I actually initially started this on Ultimate. Then we went down to Expert because it was truly just a reversal fest on. Uh, it was a reversal fest on uh, Ultimate. So we, it is still a reversal fest, but they, there is at least some ground and pan without insta catches and everything. So. Well, catches like all the time. 
<sighs> but yeah, I actually, I haven't played through the story since, at least not the entire story, since I, um, since I played it the first time, which is back in September of 2015. But I've played through select missions since then, I think. Well, mostly just side ops. <clears throat> I've heard that playing on a second account can break the save game or something. So what, ooh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it, put my saves onto a USB stick. Um, or you guys will call it a flash drive. Oh, Rumble with the side control. Ground and pound. He hurts him. This could be it. This could be it. Is it over? Whoa, Yokami survives. With only a minute to go. Let's see if he can... Can he survive for the rest of the round? You got to think this is—it's a close fight. I mean, especially with these two rocks, this, could, this is definitely Rumble's round. Oh! Top mount, top mount. But it gets reversed. Yeah, definitely so far Rumble's round. And they're going to lend their round, and the round, and the fight on the ground. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll put my saves onto USB stick just in case something does happen like that. Oh, here's this cool animation where they give each other respect like this. Yeah, Rumble definitely had the rocks in the last round, and he was pretty decent in the first. He did get taken down, so we'll see how that goes, but... Bit of damn good card. This is the last card before UFC 12. So we've got UFC 12, and then after UFC 12, we have Pride. The first Pride card. So that'll be fun. Yeah, he, um, he, he mix it up a bit. Oh, really? Hmm. Wow, well, I guess it's 3027. Um, yeah, I would. Have, yeah, there is a new one coming out, probably uh, February, March next year. <sighs> yep, soccer kicks, stomps and knees. Tough with fighting a pro is not possible, unfortunately. I wish I, I wish you could do it, but yeah, you look, you're looking good at middleweight. Really is. Oh yeah, the bears. Sometimes that's just the way it goes, man. I'm sure there'll be more opportunities. Yeah, pro's gonna be good fun. <laughs> All right, catch you later, Rant. I gave uh, I gave Beta. 40, 50 points. 45 technically because he had 5. I gave him, I gave him 50 overall. I mean, he, bet, he bet a few. Let's see how many he has actually. Hold on. Uh, 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 622, nobody. Uh, martial arts. Uh, 299, Mr. Astonishing. Alright. Alright, cool, Marsh. No, you no, you bet on Rumble just after the uh, like, I closed the betting. Just as I started, the, just as the fight started, you hit the bet, you, you put the bet in. So it's just a tiny bit late. I, I did mention it. Vibes, you got 672 points. But, yeah, look. Uh, I'll give you your uh, I'll give you your points anyway. Um, uh, uh, Alright, did you bet? You bet. Uh, 200, wasn't it? Okay. A 
believe you would get 280 points then. If you bet uh, 200 plus 40%, which is 280. So you get your money back and you get 80 extra points there. I believe what the payout is is 40% of what you put in. That's what I think it is. So, yeah. We may increase that down the line, but I believe it's 40% of what you get in. So, <clears throat> uh, let me add you. Hold on, what's the points? Right, you will have 717 points. There you go, bananas. You have 717 points. I will, don't worry. Yeah, don't worry. Alright, see you, bananas. Let's see you. Let's see if they got fire the night. Yeah, Rumble Man. He put it. He put him. Uh, he didn't put it away, but he put the he put the hurt on him. <laughs> no problem. Give me 200k. <laughs> In your dreams. Bye bye. I mentally bet six billion, bro. I got those. I got. Th I got uh, a billion potential viewers. You know, like Chitari. I've, I've got. I've actually got. I've got five hundred billion potential viewers from all planets. Yeah, this deserves fight the night. I don't think over his brain cells won that, but okay. Oh, okay. I'm not gonna clean my that's why. Well, we'll see. Maybe down, maybe later down the road. Who knows? Let's see how Wolverine goes. Joe, it's time to take a look at our submission of the night, and this was an Also, a big name is coming soon to uh, the Universe Mode World, so watch out for that. Keep an eye on the channel because there will be a little uh, video announcing his debut. So. No, no more than that, but that's... Oh, no more info than that right now, but there you go. Uh, there is no fighter records right now, but um, I actually wanted to get them going initially, and I should have done it when I started. There are no fighter records, but... Uh, some of them are the bigger names you can... I can... I mean, I'm... Some of the bigger names, if you've... If you check through all the results you can get. I, I might have to... Um... Hey, I never said Batista. Um, but maybe I'll have to, um, <laughs> trying to will Batista into existence. I might have to, um, go through all the fights, fights to get the records. It would be a, it would be very, it, it's one of those things you definitely need to do from the beginning. I, I don't, it might be a bit too far out now. We'll see. We'll see. Um. Uh, Brock Lesnar is a heavyweight champion. Tonight, the UFC showed why it's the fastest growing sport in the world, as we witnessed some incredible fights. For my partner Joe Rogan and all of us at the Ultimate Fighting Championship, Mike Goldberg saying so long until next time. We see you right back here inside the Octagon. Well, it's either me or uh, Lesnar versus me too, or it's uh, Lesnar versus Velasquez. Velasquez is. Pretty much right there, uh, but that mere fight is tantalizing, so we'll see how it goes. Hype sometimes gets uh, the, the better of uh, rankings, we'll have to see. Okay, let's go through these results, shall we? Court McGee picks up his second win? First win? I'm not sure. I'm not sure if he's fought three times or two times. Yeah, more money for sure, yeah. Um, he's, he's fought... Um, either way, I think this is either his first or second win in universe mode. Uh, takes out Kendall Grove in a pretty uh, pretty decent fight, you know. He eventually gets a submission over a pretty good jiu-jitsu guy in Kendall Grove. Joe Lozon falls to George Sotteropoulos, the uh, 
the MMA veteran. And, um, well, so is Lozon. But, um, yeah. Not able to get it down, although he had some nice triangle choke attempts. But in the end, Lozo, uh, uh, Sorceropolis reigns supreme in that one. John Hathaway debuts successfully in uh, Universe Mode and takes out the 1-5 veteran, Chris Lytle. Uh, so, you know, both are pretty new pretty new to the game. But, uh, yeah, he had that new. He had that um, good win on the Friday. Both are pretty new to the game, but... Well, one way new, of course. But still, um, that's a big win for Hathaway. Javier Vasquez, not just his first win in US mode, taking out Tia Trun Zhang in a pretty uh, entertaining fight. Eventually got the submission. Um, that was a pretty entertaining. It was, it was a pretty active grappling match. He gets the win. Sam Stout hands Ross Pearson his first loss in Universe mode. Greg Hardy is never being added to anything. Fuck him. Um, he, gets, he gets his first win, takes out Ross Pearson uh, by TKO. That's a big one for him. Alessio Sakara, potentially controversially, takes a, uh, scrapes out a decision win over Dan Henderson in a uh, in what was a pretty mu pretty much a war. Uh, both guys hurt, both guys really rocked, but eventually Sakara comes out on top. Co-main event: Rampage Jackson gets a second win at heavyweight, takes out the legendary kickboxer Alistair Overeem, and moves onwards and upwards in the heavyweight rankings. And in the main event. Anthony Johnson wins a decision um, over Yushida Kami, which people yeah, maybe, maybe maybe thought that Okami would win the decision if it went to decision, but in the end it was a close fight and uh, Rumble got it done. Big things in his future. Yeah, man, Greg Hardy, I I, I hate him, I really do. He, he, I will never make a calf of him, I will never feature him. Fuck him to the max. But anyway, that's it for this uh, this stream, lads. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you all for coming by. Uh, of course, next week we have UFC 12, which is a big one. There's going to be a very interesting fight in the main event. Bye-bye, um... uh, Marsh. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Appreciate it. Fuck Greg Hardy. Yes. Fuck Greg Hardy. I very much agree. Um, yeah, there's going to be a very interesting fight headlining UFC 12, so look out for that. It's going to be it's going to be drawing eyeballs. And... Um, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be a good one. Bye bye. So look out for that in the coming days. Anyway, take care, everyone. Have a good night. It's us morning, wherever, whatever it is, where you are, evening, afternoon. And uh, yeah, I'm off. Have a good one, lads. Take care. New video out tomorrow. Go to war. Take care.